if you're a kid and you're doing this, you might want to add Al to help you. And I'll do the other one. A dolphin seemed to have lost uh, his tail. So if a dolphin... Just where is it? <laughs> Just put it on. I can't wait. So if that happens... If that happens, you can always um, cover it up with the sea which I'm going to show you next. I always painted it. The, I'm using this type because it's easy to hot glue on. And it is... And I give the 3D effect. The reason why I am um, using the um, putting the dolphins on the uh, on the back um, behind the seaweed because I give that illusion that the back, the dolphin is in the background. If it pops out like this, you can always cut that off. They're easy to cut this stuff. So I would do the rest, but I have to move on. Okay, the next would be um, the sparkles for the bottom half. Okay, the same thing mostly like I did on the top. We don't want to smoothly lay it on. Just smoothly lay it on like that. Okay. And if you need, don't know that you need more paint. Don't worry about it. That adds some more to the tray. And don't worry if you get on top of the water. Because that, that won't matter because the spark, there are sparkles already in the ocean. So people won't really notice it as much. Okay. Now. Next you want sparkles. Finish it. It's black. Oh. Let me finish this. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use sparkles, that's fine. But I'm using sparkles to show you. Now, if you don't want to wait for the paint to dry, and you don't want to use a glue stick, you can always like, do this with the paint on because it will give because when the paint dries, the sparkles will stay to the paint. Okay, I'm get to that. Ooh. Now you don't want to take your fingers and just smooth that well. If you're afraid of getting your finger a bit messy, you can always use a paintbrush to do this. The okay, next thing you want is the sea salts. Now remember that you do not want um, big sea salts because the poster board won't be able to handle it. You can do as many sea salts as you like. You have to hot glue them because the normal glue will not be able to handle the, um, the sea salts. Okay. And also when you make so if you have this type of sea salts, do not glue the inside here because that's not a waste of glue because it will not stick you want to make sure if you glue it right on top of here okay it will stick that way okay if that do it inside of them it won't stick and that's a waste of hot glue okay and you can put as many as you like so this is my 3d art when you're doing it make sure you get the edges because that because more, more hot glue needed. <laughs> yeah, um, make sure you put more hot glue on. <laughs> I only have a little uh, limited of time, so make sure you put more hot glue on. <laughs> okay? 
and make sure when you are um, when you paint it, make sure you do the edges. Okay, when you hang on the wall, people will see it, the edges, and that won't look um, well, that won't really look nice. When you're finished, it will look like yeah. When you are finished, it will look like it will look similar to this. You can use any. You can use a different green. You can do anything you want, but it will look similar to this. So thank you for watching how to make your own 3D art.